Hi everybody, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today we're gonna to be setting up the 2021 budget planner. This is, it's an Erin Condren seven by nine monthly planner that I'm gonna be using. And I picked the neutral for my budget. This is what I used last year too, but they changed the layout just a little bit of this. And then I'm gonna change just a few things that I did because um, last year was the first time that I actually had a budget planner and so I was still getting a little bit adjusted to what I wanted to do. So I'm gonna just change a few things. I like how I did it, but I was gonna just tweak a few things and then they did change the layout a little bit in here. So we need to adjust um, like accommodate for that too. So this is the planner I'm gonna be using. Um, if you like this planner, you can, I have a link below, you can get $10 off your first order from Erin Condren. And these stickers are all from Etsy. Um, some of these are from my Etsy shop. Some of them, like this one's from Planner Kate, will be using. So I'm gonna be using these stickers to set everything up. Uh, a link to my Etsy shop is down below also. And if I use anything else, I'll try to let you guys know where I got it um, as we go. So let's just jump right in though. I did one of these videos last year for setting up my planner. So if you are curious how I did set up my 2020 budget planner, I'll put it up there in the cards of the video and I'll try to remember to link it below also. We're gonna just be going through this and I didn't print out, last year I printed out a sticker like this with my name and I just put it here. Um, and I didn't do that this time. I'm just gonna use this pen. Okay, so I wrote my name, not the greatest, <laughs> but I'll live with it. I don't usually see this page anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, and I'm not gonna be using brush pens anymore in this. I just, for my name, I never know what to do with this part right here because I just don't have really good handwriting. So that's why I usually just stick a sticker on it. Um, but anyway, all right, let's scoot these aside. Sorry, it's so like glaring right now. It's just so dark outside. So I need all the lights on right now. All right, we're not gonna do anything with the quotes pages. All right, this I'm gonna do the same thing that I did last year. So we're gonna use these dots I got from Planner K. They're transparent, um, like little dot stickers. So what I do here is I put my husband's paydays. So we mark which payday, um, which days he gets paid because he gets paid bi-weekly. I get paid every week from my main job. So I don't really have to remember which weeks I get paid since I get paid every week. But since he gets paid every other week, um, I do need to, uh, know which weeks he gets paid. So that's why I really liked having them, uh, the dots in here last year. So we're gonna do the same thing this year. And I kind of just picked random dots. I didn't really do anything specific, um, but we're gonna do the same thing. So his last payday week was the 25th. He gets paid on Fridays. Obviously this is Christmas, so he might not get paid um, on 25th there, but that's the week that he gets paid. So we're gonna skip the first and then we'll start with the eighth. So we'll just start out with these top dots. And then I don't know if I'm gonna just fast forward to you guys through all this because it's basically, now that I have the first one, um, I, I'm i just gonna go off and mark every other Friday. And this way too, it's a nice visual. We can see which months we get the three paydays because um, just a couple months out of the year, we do get the three, um, like the three week paydays in the month, three paydays during the month. All right. So I'll probably fast forward you all through this and I'll see you when I'm done. We got all these stickers done, so I don't need them anymore. Um, and so now everything, all the paydays, the Fridays that my husband husband gets paid is marked. And that's the, like our main payday that we keep track of. That's the payday. I do bi-weekly budgets. And so I go off of when he gets paid and we do it in like two week periods from like, like for April, it'll be Friday the 2nd. We'll start the first paycheck in April and then we'll say it ends on the 15th, right be, the day before he gets his next paycheck. So we do like the bi-weekly budget. So that's why I like doing this since this is like the main, um, paydays. So we're done with that. So let's move on. All right. For these, I'm, I'm going to kind of set them up kind of the same, but they're going to be different. So I'm going to use my, um, stickers. These are just the clear month tech stickers. And I decided to just go with black. I like the flat black. Um, I also can put these in gold and silver, 
foil, um, which I have in one of my other planners, but I thought for this, um, it's like a more basic um, planner and it's a little more like neutral. So I just decided to stick with black. Um, and what I'm gonna do is, these are a little, they're like oversized. I kinda, I like the look of oversized stickers better. Um, these also fit in the eight and a half by 11s. If you have that, they fit um, obviously a little bit smaller. But these are, um, they're just transparent and they're like brush text stickers. I might do it so that it's like over to the side. And these are not removable, so I gotta be careful. <laughs> So last year what I did was I recorded all the, um, at the end of each month, I put our total income expenses and how much we put towards savings and how much we put towards our debt payment, like any extra debt payments we made. Um, just kind of as a little, kind of like a summary of where our money went for the month, which I did like that. Um, but this year I thought I'd do it a little bit different because I, I have um, a different page that I'm actually planning on doing that with um, because I had a since I did this last year I kind of knew what worked and what didn't and so I decided I'm gonna put all I'm still gonna make a page with all that the those four like where my money went but that's gonna be like on the notes the notes page after this so on this page and the page obviously these two pages um, we're gonna be doing our extra bills that are gonna be for each month. Um, at least that's the plan right now. Um, I have another, I also thought I was gonna do that in like January's. I need to count um, how many pages. So, okay, one one thing that had changed on this planner, in the planner, um, is that the notes pages, there was a bunch of notes pages in the back of like this planner last year. Now they're like more spread out uh, throughout the months. Um, oh, this is my January. <laughs> I forgot to put these stickers on already, but um, like there's more pages right after these um, each month instead of having them more like in the back. So that actually kind of caused a problem for me because in the back I put how my monthly bills, I put my, um, like I called it money accounts, but it was like at the beginning of each month, I just went in and recorded all of my like how much we had in all of our bank accounts. I liked seeing that and then how much we had left in mortgage too. And then that was all in one place. And at the end of the year, I can see like how much we progressed in our mortgage um, and like how much we have in our savings accounts. So I liked that, but now um, with what's in the back, it's all like, it's all for just December. It's not, there's like no extra notes pages there. So I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna put that in um, January section. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm still kind of working with this and it, it it's okay to, if it keeps changing like throughout the year. Obviously if I start this and put like put things in here, it's gonna stay the same. But if I wanna change some things throughout the year that I haven't done yet, I, I do it. I don't stick like, not like strict on myself if I wanna change things throughout the year. Here's how that looks. Looks nice. We're done with this now. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to go ahead and write all of our bills in right now. I keep, so here's, here's my, here's the dilemma. So I have either this I could use and I can put it on, I was thinking in January at the end of this. I think there'll be more pages in January because this is like not missing. It's missing in December. They have something else. So there's actually more pages in January. And I was thinking maybe I'll put the, um, my money account stickers here and I'll, I'll set those up with you guys cause I'm for sure doing that. But then I couldn't figure out if I wanted to do my monthly bills right here, like on the back. And I obviously just put them both in the same page. Um, cause we don't have that many, monthly bills. And this just keeps track of like each, every bill that I have to pay just so I don't miss anything. And it's mainly like the other bills are for like quarterly bills or like once a year bills um, that I don't have every month so that I don't miss anything. So it's like I put the due whatever month it's due and then I put the bill that's due and then the amount. Uh, say like my car insurance is due twice a year. 
So I'd put due in like May and November or whatever it's due. Um, I have that written down somewhere. So I'd put like May, November here, and then bill would be car insurance. And then I put the amount, if I know the amount, cause some things are variable. Um, but that I, was, I know approximately what the amount would be. So that's what this would be for. And then, like I said, I'm trying to decide if I want to put that here instead, or if I want to just make this, put the stickers over there. And then maybe I'll do something else with this. I think what I'm actually gonna do with this is put like birthdays and everything, or I'll put like Christmas here. Anything that will cost extra money that some people make like sinking funds for, but this would just like, so I know and it stands out as like something that needs my attention money wise through the month. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. So like for January, I'll put, I have a couple birthdays and then I'm going to probably put anything. I have my master bills list like right here. So if there's anything in January, uh, like a registration is due in January. So I might still put that there, but I think I'm still going to set this one up. Um, because I like having this all in one place too. This will be like all of these plus other random little things. So kind of like a total of everything that's going on for each month, like a summary of the month, I guess. Um, and then the monthly bills and other bills will just be the bills, obviously. I like that. I like that I'm talking things through because it's just easy to um, get everything done in how I want it that way. All right, so this is where I'm gonna keep all my income savings, expenses, and extra debt payments. All I was gonna do for this, I'm not really gonna write this right now, um, I'm probably going to start this at the end of January, but, and I might make some stickers for this. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. That's why I'm not writing here. Um, I might say, make something nice like my other stickers and it'd just be like the, where my money went. <laughs> I don't know what that would be called, but then I'd put like the months on the side and then I was going to put income expenses, savings, and like extra to debt payment, um, something like that right here. And then I just put the columns, like put how much money went towards each of those four things. So, cause those are the four things that I like keeping track of. All right, but we're gonna leave that blank right now. And then now we're gonna get into the month. <laughs> 